A lot of people learn best by working through exercises themselves, but oftentimes don't have labs or not sure where to start. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Juice Shop. This is a web application security framework. We're going to fully build it out and step through some exercises and really explain how you can get that web application security skill in your repertoire. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to Simply Cyber, the YouTube channel designed to help you make and take a cybersecurity career further, faster. I'm Gerald Dozier, your host, and every Monday I'm dropping videos on cybersecurity career-related things, different jobs in the field, interviewing experts, looking at tools, that sort of thing. If that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button and check it out every Monday at noon. Uh, before we get started on the Juice Shop talk, I do want to remind folks that uh, today is November 1st. On November 12th, I will be doing a live stream uh, in coordination with NIST, um, the National Institute of Standard standards and technology. Uh, they're hosting me for Cybersecurity Professional Week, and I'll be giving a talk on how to uh, get into cybersecurity with no experience, a very popular topic. So be sure to check that out. And also be sure to stay tuned to the end for my One Cool Thing segment, as always. Now, before we get into the Juice Shop talk, I do want to point out that I do uh, I did get a logo made, as you uh, all know at this point, and I am doing shirts, so if you're interested in that, just hit it in the comments and I'll share with how you can get those. Now, a couple days ago on LinkedIn, an individual named Stefan Waldvogel, who I am connected with, actually posted this post right here. And it was a list of resources that are free or very close to free that individuals can use to get experience in cybersecurity. And I was like, hell yeah, this is awesome. So I reached out to him, thanked him, and then it gave me an idea. How about I do a video on each of these and make it into a playlist and it'll be like a complete little set. So consider this the first episode in that playlist of basically free tools that you can use um, based on you know this list that uh, Stefan put together. And this week we are looking at Juice Shop. Now, Juice Shop is essentially a web application um, security testing platform to help individuals learn how to do web app testing. Now, what makes Juice Shop interesting is it's basically like a full web application storefront solution with login, review comments, product inventory, uh, backend database, and you know, it's got, you know, really the entire model view controller paradigm uh, set up using modern kind of technology stack. And this is fantastic. So, uh, one of the things that I want to point out is OWASP, the Open Web Application uh, Security uh, P. I'm not sure what the P is, but OWASP is basically the collection of web application security related stuff. And they have a top 10 vulnerabilities. And this is like the top 10 vulnerabilities that you would find in most web applications. And if you're doing bug bounty, uh, these 10 are really where you should focus your effort, especially if you're early or new to bug bounty. Um, because it's the most common and most likely vulnerabilities you're going to find. So uh, check out, I got the bug bounty video right there. You can check that out after this one. But what Juice Shop does is, and special thanks to the, uh, the creator of Juice Shop, I think his name is Bjorn, or uh, I'll, I'll put it in the notes, uh, much love and much appreciation, is the layout is so easy to set up, and I'm going to step through setting it up in AWS as I you know, typically enjoy doing AWS related lab work. But in just a few minutes, you can set up Juice Shop, and then they actually have, um, they have it set up where there is a list of hacking challenges, and they lay it out for you step by step, and they don't give the uh, the answer away. They give you hints and indications and stuff like this. Now remember, you can use this for a capture the flag competition, but what the real point here is, is it for you to get hands-on experience doing web application security testing. So think about this for a second. If you've ever been at a cybersecurity job interview, especially an entry level one, you may get a question like, what is cross-site scripting? What is SQL injection? What is cross-site request forgery? What is blind SQL injection? Uh, what is the risk of having uh, open file directories on the internet on a web server things like that right so yeah you could memorize it because you took the security plus and you remember it as a term but you have no context no relation to it right by working through the juice shop challenges 
you actually execute SQL injection attacks, you understand why it works, and you can understand how to protect from it. You can do a cross-site scripting attack, right? You're doing hands-on. So when you're actually in an interview, not only will you be able to pull from you know, experience and, and muscle memory and hands-on, but you'll also be able to say, oh, I've done that. So now it, you've taken it from like a construct, a concept that you write about to an actual practiced executable skill, right? So it's huge. So um, we're gonna step through right now. I'm gonna show you how to install it in AWS, absolutely free. And then I'm gonna step through uh, a little bit of how you would use it. Now, the point of this video is not to have spoilers and do a tutorial walkthrough of all the different challenges. And there's a hundred challenges, so it's pretty sweet. Uh, because there's tons of YouTube videos that already do that. Uh, and you can check them out right here. But what I want to do is simply set you up so you have that juice shop lab built and step through a little bit just so you feel comfortable kind of operating within that space, okay? So we're gonna do the AWS one first, get it set up, then we're gonna launch it and we're gonna step through some challenges, okay? Let's do it. All right, so we're in our AWS console right now, right? So you've logged in. If you have any trouble getting an AWS account, I've got a couple other videos on the channel. Just search uh, for AWS on my channel. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to EC2 from the services tab. We're gonna go to launch instance. This is very, very easy. Okay, so we're just gonna run up a quick Amazon Linux 2 AMI 64-bit x86. It's the free tier, so it's gonna cost you nothing. And uh, just hit select. It came up first for me, hopefully it does for you too. Again, confirm that the free tier is selected. We're gonna go on to configure instance details, right? So all this is fine, but what you wanna do is go down here to the user data section. And this is provided on Juicebox's webpage. So if you have trouble uh, finding this or whatever, and I'll put this in the show notes, but you basically just literally copy and paste this. And what it's doing is pulling down a Docker instance of the juice shop, which is why Docker is so cool, right? So we've got our stuff in there. We're gonna click through, you could do review and launch, but I wanna get to the security group. We're gonna wanna add a rule for port 80, uh, HTTP, because that's what Juice Shop, it's a web server, right? It's a vulnerable web server app. Um, you could configure it for your own IP. I'm just gonna leave it custom uh, for this demonstration <clears throat> and hit review and launch. So you've got everything going. Oh. You know, obviously, if you have your uh, key pairs, if you haven't done this before, create a new key pair. Um, and if you have used the same key pairs before, is probably a best bet. You're not going to be uh, SSHing into the box right now. Uh, if you have already created this and you're launching it again and you, the juice box isn't um, starting up, there's actually a way to like relaunch the actual web server. And I'll put that in the show notes. I, I, I came up, I came across that just earlier today and I haven't had a chance to fully vet it, um, but in case you're having that problem, but this this will work. Okay, so I hit view instance and you can see it's pending right now. So the, like AWS is spinning up our server, which is great. Okay, so while it's doing that, let's do juice shop OWASP, we'll take a look. You know, really this is such a fantastic tool and really appreciate Bjorn for this. So. Um, as it's spinning up, of course, it is a web app, um, a vulnerable web app, <laughs> right? And there's tutorials. I recommend going through the tutorials. The scoreboard is the very first one. Uh, it's fairly easy. It's nice and, um, you know, palatable. And you kind of just run with that. And then let's check our instance. So we're going to click on our instance ID. You can see it's, <clears throat> it's already starting to build it up. We've got our public DNS. So click on the copy icon go ahead and add it so it should launch the web server might not be up yet yeah see how it's not up yet it's going to take a minute so let's just wait on that my recommendation would be if you go to the challenges page you see how they have all these challenges split up by different um different categories and stuff what i would recommend doing is where is it um, the documentation, 
companion guide online or community guide, this is where you need to be. So this tells you how to set it up, which is basically what I'm doing right now. And if you wanted to do CTF, they do call out walking the happy path. And this is basically trying to use juice shop the way it's intended. So actually register an actual account, walk through, add things to your shopping cart. Part of web app pen testing successfully is actually understand the way that the app is supposed to work from the developer's mindset and perspective. That way, when you're breaking it, you know how to break it because you know how it is supposed to work, right? But for Simply Cyber's um, intentions and purposes, let's really focus on part two, this challenge hunting. As I mentioned in the um, when I was in the studio part and not at the computer, they have all these different uh, pieces broken up and it's really nice. So these are different um, challenges, right? And if this is the full 100 challenges, that's fantastic. So you can kind of keep track. They have the solutions. I recommend you don't cheat, right? Now look at this. They over here on the side, they actually have it broken up by like different styles of, you know, basically the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities. Um, so injection, like for example, I'm going to click injection. It gives you an explanation of what injection is. And this is what you would see like SQL injection. This is what you would see in like a security plus textbook or a cybersecurity course. This is what it is. Try to remember it. Well, again, you're executing it. So you'll actually not only know what it is, but you'll understand what it looks like both from the offensive perspective and the defensive perspective. And then they actually kind of break out the actual challenges. Now, this is why I love Juice Shop as a perfect entry level, getting to know you web application vulnerability situation. Look at this first one. Order the order the Christmas special of 2014. Now they have three stars. So let's not actually let's not do that one. Log in with the administrator's account. Two stars. Okay. So we're gonna go down to log in with the administrator's account. This isn't giving you the answers. This is simply helping you along right? It gives you a question. It poses a question. Then the challenge description probably give away what form of attack you should use, right? So it's logging in as the admin. So maybe the login screen, um, you know, they've set juice shop up. So it's like, if you have zero experience, zero clue, zero knowledge, you can still get something out of it. If you have some experience, some knowledge, you work in it or whatever, you know, some terminology and stuff, and you can still move forward with it. It's, this is such a fantastic platform. It doesn't give the answer away. Okay. It does give you some hints and clues, but the idea is that you're supposed to learn. Let's see if juice shop is open. Here it is. Now I want to point out, this is what your initial page will look like. This, um, orange button with the diploma hat here. This is like the tutorial. I recommend you start there. It gives you some tips and stuff on how to find the scoreboard first. Now you can do the happy path. Uh, one thing that I do want to advise is to hit function F12 and you'll get the kind of the developer screen and you'll see all these different files and stuff like that. So you can actually, you know, hit pretty print. You can use this copy and paste it to a, um, an editor, I've already done it here. And then you can start looking at it and understanding and analyzing it. So web application pen testing isn't just about attacking it through the front end. It's also about seeing what kind of things are left behind by the developer and stuff like that, or, you know, bad permissions. So give it a shot, check it out. I think you're gonna love it, okay? Okay, so I hope at this point you've got the comfort and the confidence to build Juice Shop on your own and actually step through and do those exercises. And you know, it's awesome how they give you an explanation of what these different vulnerabilities are, how to find them. And you know, if you're actually struggling, um, you can find the solution fairly easy, right? It might even be worth walking through all the solutions first, just to give you some comfort and familiarity, and then go back and actually try to do it again. Yeah, you might remember some of the spoilers, but uh, it would be advantageous and it certainly can help you. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed Juice Shop. Again, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a whole series of videos on Stefan's list of uh, free cyber resources, okay? So now it's time for our one cool thing. Okay, so now this one cool thing, if you've gotten this far, I appreciate it. This one's a bit personal and a bit exciting. So recently, uh, the CISO job opened up at the Medical University of South Carolina. And I have decided to apply to that job. 
and you know basically make a run at doing CISO work. Now I've never done a CISO role, but I do feel confident that I could execute that role well. Uh, so you know maybe I'll make a video as I progress uh, through the process. But um, you know I just wanted to share that with you all. Like you guys have been such a great supportive community. I've loved. Um, engaging with you and connecting with you. So this was like kind of personal big news that's cybersecurity related. So I felt um, I really wanted to share it with you. So um, thank you. You know, I appreciate you listening. So, all right. Thank you so much. And until next time, stay secure.